Confirm that, Chad. We are the Reds and we run this town. We are the Reds and we run this town. So shut the fuck up and sit back down. So shut the fuck up and sit back down. Can you hear the Red Coat sing? Can you hear the Red Coat sing? We haven't planned a fucking thing. We are the Red Coat sing. So there we go, a little bit of a warm up there from the Reds. Welcome back, everybody. We've got Redcoats versus CML Exodus Split Clan there. We're playing on Fool's Road Skirmish. We'll be following the Redcoats as they face off here. Here, pulling up the roster. For our Twitch chat there, see the Reds are playing Russian Army. United States Army will be CML yeah, for this round. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah. I'm hitting up the first flag. Welcome all of our commentators back to the stream. We're still here, and uh, we're ready to throw down for this Fool's Road skirmish here. I'd like to highlight with uh, the CML boys right now that they're doing kind of what FUBAR did last time, where squads uh, three and four have not spawned in yet. I think they're going to drop a fob, and then the rest are going to spawn in. There they go. Here they come. Yep. So I, I think it's something that um, let's alluded to last week that it might be for sprint purposes to to allow some people to retain their their stamina to get a better sprint off. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because right, so they... uh, three and four right now, squad the the the, the squads that delayed their um, spawning are right now heading to the uh, objective in the southwest. We'll take two guys and me, guys. Try and so for side. audience and you guys to know, yeah, so we got that. squad leads on this side, CML yeah, Norway, uh, CML Shaf, CML Shadow, and CML Desire. Those are your squad leads for uh, the CML side. Yeah, and there for the Red Coast, we've got Blitza, uh, Russ UK and Rossi Raider. Any fobs up on that side? Uh, nope, not yet. All right, we've got one just a little bit northwest of uh, the northern objective. Okay. Hilltop. Yep, so there we see Reds capturing 415, making their way to ammo here. Yeah, looks like ammo is going to be your first uh, engagement. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's going to be really bloody on ammo really fast. <laughs> Very much so. Looks like the red sent out bees already to Hilltop. I don't know. He looks like he's kind of getting an idea what's going on over there. Yeah, he might be trying to, to spec out some movement on that side. But here we go. CML just now getting into uh, ammo depot. And there's a lot of reds coming at him right now. I, I, they're not going to hold this for very long, most likely. Just to make sure we get a cover you seeing that, Rusty? That yeah, I am. Yeah, top? Okay. Yeah, or ammunition depot. Down there, uh, Redcoats talking on oh, commander yeah. comms about their crossfire zones. Who's yep. coming in from where? Very good comms coming out of them. Shaf's calling in uh, Target 65 Southwest. Yep, for shots uh, coming out of UK. Yep, there's a lot coming in on ammo depot from CML side, too. This is going to be a bloodbath coming up. Yeah, yep, Russ Ryan trying fight. to get in there. I'm gonna stumble yeah, on him right the here. The Russ calling out right now. They're, they've almost capped ammo already. So Russ prepping a grenade. He's throwing a hand grenade in there. He should get a lot of them. For a grenade. Uh, he got one. It looks like I can see. Second grenade. Most of them were down in there. Oh, he should have just adjusted a little bit left. Yeah, if you adjust that grenade, just a, just a hair to the left. You could They're got hunkered all down in there, taking fire. Like the CML guys trying fight. to smoke the east. Most of both teams are still up in this little engagement here. The yeah. CML taking the most casualties there. Oh, Russ now with his back to to Jimmy here. You can see uh, Deffy and Rossi back here. Just kicked yeah, out to the southwest a little ways. Engaging a uh, bacon uh, bacon squad down here. Bacon, Fair Z, all these guys, CML guys to the southwest. They positioned something at the hilltop over there to keep that from sweeping around onto them. 
Now it's B's coming up the backside. He gets Shoff right in the back. B's goes down. Yep, they're definitely coming in from the, uh, from the east. Red Redcoat's coat's pushing slowly. through the smoke. Crix is down there in the middle, Hickman bandaging. Russ literally right next to the Ombra behind him. him. More red cuts flooding into ammo depot from the east. Looks like they're pushing him off the hill. Some CML guys, they're all within about 3 meters of each other. Yep, CML rolling up the back side of the hill. Getting some easy kills coming over the side. Now it's Blitza and Dipsis. Coming around yeah, the back side. Yeah, look at that coming in from behind. That, that we'll might see, be a good little move to pay off. They're rolling up that back side through that Here smoke. Here comes Blitza right now. He's gonna, he's, he's got several. Yeah, we got a hot one. squad kicking out to the southwest. Okay, he gets Stopping, one. Uh, Can he get two? Wow, three man wipe there. That move's paid off. Blitza and Dipsis able to clear out the back side of ammo. Yep. Now in Redcoat's control with that clear. Oh, still CML Shadow coming in. He gets Blitza. Gets him. Dipsis has his back, though, and clears him out. Redcoat's taking ammo. Yeah, Redcoat's yep. taking ammo. Looks like they've wiped out to the southwest as well. Rossi squad down there. They placed a fob and they're starting to push back north now. Uh, they they anticipated a CML squad hitting them from the southwest down there. Either one place a fob or getting up on top of the hilltop to get that hilltop advantage on anybody coming from the east. So Rossi masked his guys perfectly on that southwest side. And uh, he's pushing north now. Very exciting start. You can even hear how excited Very Chad's exciting, kids sir. are in the background there. They're, <laughs> yeah. they're just squad league fans right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> CML creeping back up on the ammo depot right now. Russ calling it out. Ooh, takes a direct grenade. <laughs> a lot of red coats <laughs> down there in ammo. We'll see who can fill in. Russ, Russ verbally realizing he chose the wrong bunker to run into. I was a cop <laughs> <laughs> grenade landed on all three of them, killed all three. Wow, CML still pushing lots of resources up the back side of yep. ammo. CML took ammo back. As far as manpower. Rossi's guys, though, and in it's in still in a position to push that back up in there again. So, ammo lighten up hugely right now. What's going on in the rest of the map, however? Uh, that's pretty much it right now. Rossi had a squad down in the southwest, like I said. He was pushing uh, north, but uh, as soon as Russ got wipe on top of the on top of ammo depot, he shifted his guys into ammo depot to plug that hole. Yep, so pulling so. back now to see everything that's going on there. Yep, most of the for force is now focused. Uh, up on ammo, but a couple of stragglers there in the back to protect against those back caps, but I don't think we're going to see that happen just yet. It looks like both of these teams are completely committed right now to uh, throwing as much manpower as they can at ammo and trying to gain control of this objective. Yeah, Roger, I've got boys on it. Keep it free, Definitely. Keep moving, keep getting in that cap zone. Good work. Listen to me, I fleek home on comms. That's the way you want to do it. The Red Coast knows they're coming up the hill from the direct north uh, north side. They're cresting over top of it. Uh, Bacon and Scavy, literally right next to each other. One of them turns around, they'll see the other. Kind of funny, actually. Dip sauce holds. Oh, sorry. Right, I'm gonna break up north so we can get in behind him. A lot of brute force up. pushing on, but for both sides here, getting an ammo depot. They're just Absolutely. rushing as many bodies in there as they can get. Oh, Oakley, right here. You see these guys either side of these timber walls. Bacon oh. and Anti Citizen one. On oh, Anti Citizen one gets one, and he gets two. He gets two CML guys there. Jeez, right on the other side of the wall there. Very close combat. Uh, close quarters. FYI, we're at 130 right tickets here. 130, we're at 126. Very neck and neck. Coming in west, guys. Oh, don't need a bandage, mate. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Any citizen one gets blown off the side of the mountain. <laughs> Jeez. You got four. Yeah, like I said, they're just, they're, both teams are just brute forcing ammo depot right now. That's definitely got to make a highlight reel. Completely yeah. blown off. 
one. I need all the bodies in that fucking cap zone. Yep, yep Red's coming on. Yep, the reinforcing that. Yep, exactly. They're, they're, they're not giving up on it. Right, Just waiting to get up. Copy, copy. We're going to find North 7 guys on the spawn. See, you're holding that northern ridge line, like right on the edge of it, pushing their way up. Red coats. Owning the, the majority of the hill, they, they have to realize there's a fob just north there somewhere. So they're probably going to try to make a push up there somewhere, trying to find that fob. They killed that fob, they killed this, uh. They killed CMO for trying to take this. Let me know when I'm you. in the middle of the objective here. Red's trying to push in. 50% to neutral blitz. Yeah, Rossi calling up, they're taking, they're taking hilltop. Our ammo depot, sorry. Keep an eye on blitzes, boys, moving up to hilltop. DML getting another wave of guys, the brute force coming in. Same oh thing my. with red coats. <laughs> wow. AR is just lighting things up. Grenades everywhere. Yeah. Smoke everywhere. Yeah, Absolutely love that. Red coats cheer each other on. This just is like that. This is like the point of a hamburger hill now. It absolutely is. Yeah, oh yeah. Bodies rolling off the sides. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's pretty actually pretty funny. I've seen a couple now just go tumbling <laughs> down the, the rocks in there. Yeah. We're just oh. creeping their way back in. Yeah, Roger, just keep it breezy on that flag, lads. I'll CML really not side, giving up though. I mean, they are. No, absolutely not. Putting up a steep so. offensive. It, it's very interesting when you've got two explosive clans who both kind of believe. In that violence of action, you know, you're going to be able to control that objective if you just pour in there, violence as hell, you know, guns blazing. Uh, but you have to be able to, you know, you have to be able to commit and, you know, as well as actually be able to cap the objective. And we're seeing both of these clans really trying to push that right now. Not giving up. Definitely. There we go. 100 tickets. 121 here for the Reds. Wow. Yep, took about 30 tickets for the Reds to take that. They see it'll still come back Northwest, and recap it. Guys, Northwest again. Red's starting to uh, move to the uh, the edge of this see, hill uh, here. Once they yeah, can, can once they can, ahead, yeah, sorry. yep. Once they can peer down into the valley and start shooting at the CML guys coming up the hill, it's 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 pretty much going to be all over for CML. Now yeah, have CML that. started kicking guys out of uh of of hilltop. They started pulling their little defense they had off there. They're starting to pull them towards hilltop. But as soon as it they flip, they they That's turn right. around and start heading back. Yeah, gonna work it. Have you got eyes yet? No? Oh, cool. Not eyes, not yet. That's not. A lot of bodies on top of A lot of, this of bodies. Oh my god. CML looks to be wiped off. And a lot Red's of down not. Arrows. Yeah, they're not taking any sort of downtime at all. They've already got, um, you know, Blitzer right here. We can see just moving off of uh, the hill as quickly as he can. Already yep, moving down into the valley. Demo spawning uh, their entire force on that northern fob north of Hilltop encampment. Does Demo have a fob north of uh, Ammo Depot shortly, a little bit ago? They do. Seems like they and did. They're, they're splitting right now, some going up to Hilltop, some uh, t taking back off to Ammo Depot. Okay, is that, that no fob north of Ammo Depot for CML, is it still there or did they dig it up? Repeat last? Is there, was there a fob north of Ammo Depot for CML? No. Okay. It seemed like there was. I must have had a rally. Okay, so CML spawned all the guys back on their five north of Hilltop. Yep, so now a little bit of a lull here. We've got some uh, red coat skirmishing, CML, um, down here on the floor. And then you've got the, both of these teams stacked up, sitting high at their objectives. Both kind of peering down into this valley, looking for movement. Where these guys are going to be focusing their forces. Yeah, a lot of contacts up there, the Rossi Raider saying a little bit of contact yeah, out there. Yeah, pretty much their deep flag Hilltop, so we're just going to try to break it in there. Get back on this fob if we can. Where are they coming in from? On you not, eh? They're not for the minute, mate. They're not for the minute. You're holding them off. Don't know where their fob is. Yeah, copy, copy. To get through that comms, there's very good comms back and forth between two squads there. They're working, it's working, working off of each other, figuring out where the enemy's at, where they're getting pushed from, where they should punch or patch holes, where they should push. Uh, come and meet me on this line. Like squad three on CML is trying to find a new uh, fob like out in the northwest. The they're probably likely going to get rid of the you. other one north yeah. of hilltop. Yeah, come and come and get on this line with us. 120 tickets. Reds haven't lost any since they took that hill. All right. Very fast and furious round. I love it. Very fast and furious. On our way, Blake. On our way. Yeah, Roger that rush. You carry Ooh. on, mate. Very good view yeah, on uh, right, on Blitzer right, there, right. okay. Give it a shout. Yeah. yeah. Is it down to, to Blitzer right now? 
There we go, a lot of As you said earlier, though, it really shows violence of action. Right, yep. <laughs> Makes things run, interesting. Get, uh, they don't relent. Right, and it, I think it's important to draw a distinction between violence of action and just sending guys to the slaughterhouse. You know, if, if, you're, right. if you're bleeding personnel tickets, no, uh, any good team is going to be able to recognize on. that trend and pull boys. guys off. But but in that situation on ammo, you've got both guys, both teams fighting yeah, back and forth. Me, you just got to commit and you got to be the better we're man. You got to be the, the better team and uh, and take those guys off the right, objective. Definitely. You can see Blitzer. Push him um, Yeah, big reinforcement yeah. here at the forest. Right, Blitzer and Russ, they're, both their squads are pushing across right now. Looks like Russ is sitting back putting fire down while Blitzer moves across that Dude, field that there. That's a good go push. For it, go for it. There you go, Rossi calling him out. Rossi's staying on the fence right now, holding up on, on uh, ammo depot. Yeah, he's probably using his binocs up there to spot for uh, enemy movement there. Good press. We'll you see. can see back in that tree line, you see Crixus and Citizen putting hill. fire down his ARs. Yep. Also, their squads push forward. Shooting up the those, hill, uh, those calling out multiple contacts. Redcoat's getting in a good position to breach here. We'll see how they decide to enter this compound. A lot of CML guys in here. It's going to be very difficult for them. Uh, it's going to be, be a to... bit another bloodbath. Yeah, blood it is definitely going to be a bloodbath. However, CML now on the defensive, so it looks like they do have the edge here as the Redcoats come through the forest. Right. Well, might, well, might slow them down a little bit for Redcoats. Oh, yeah, as they start pushing up that hill and taking casualties, yeah, they're going to have to have, have another fop as closer to that attack flag. Yep. Rossi, do you want to they, Russ has a good, more, good lock now coming up that hilltop, though. Yeah, Russ just you charging out in the front. Moving here. his way up that. Yeah, oh, that and he gets ooh, blown up. Yep, grenade's yeah. rolling down the hill. What about uh, going back to your original spot blitz, uh, camp in TD? That was a very yeah, violent push by Redcoats. Very good. CML doing a good job of uh, shifting and defending against that, though, too. That was a great, you know, great pullback and positioning themselves ready for that. Yeah, we've got a live frame up here. Copy, copy. So a lot of deliberation right now between uh, Russ Blitzer and Rossi right now, de deciding on who's pulling Rossi out of the defense flag and pulling him out. Yeah. CML, pretty good split with their units here. They've got a squad leader, squad leader up here with Binox on the top floor of this building, and then they've got their uh, they've got their GLs and their ACOGs up here, um, right where they should be, being effective with those units and using them in the right way. I'm, I'm hearing off grumps, mate. There's apparently a fob up here, man. Rossi going yeah, to pass yeah, the problem north of him. Just come over. Copy, so we'll put one down. Yeah, right, fall back to the D. Just want you to come down. Just fall back in. Oh. Alright, let's pull the rest of the guys back. We're yep. alright, mate, we're up. Looking about a 2 to 1 kill death ratio, yeah, by the no, way. It's... Reds to CML. It's a pain. Yep, 115 the reds. No, that's what I mean. 64. Do you want me to put the down or we, we, can we clear their fob first? Yeah, clear the fob. Clear the fob if you're there. So here's where that, uh, like I said, as they're taking casualties, uh, having their fob so far to the southwest, they're going to lose momentum on that attack, and then that's, that's kind of what's happening right now. You want to fall back on that defensive line, Blitz? Uh, we're, we've uh, half a squad out here now. Yeah, we're going to hold the sort of the northeast ridge along the road. Possibly pull them back to the actual cap zone to get spread out along the south. And we're just DML on Commander Comms trying to call in more help on the uh, defense. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing shots from the east side of our defense, guys. Um, right now, there's no enemy fob. I can put a fob down if you want me to, boys. Give me the word. Give me the word. Rossi, Rossi, push further north, uh, just south of the road. Get a fob up right behind them if we need it. Copy that, mate. All right, Blitz is giving a call for it. Rossi's pushing north further. He's going to drop a fob somewhere in the northeast of, uh, or not the west, sorry, the attack flag. So they kind of consolidated back on the defend once they uh, they pushed that hill and kind of ran out of momentum there. It, it burned CML back a ways and also burned Redcoats back a little bit. So now Redcoats is trying to think about coming from a different angle. Absolutely. 110 tickets here. Definitely a little bit of a slowdown here. How are we looking on the uh, CML exit? 58. 58? All Correct. right. So I don't think it, it, either team has lost any fobs yet. All right, some on you, Mike. Yeah, looks good, looks good. No, we haven't. They, it's CML right now has two. One directly north of Hilltop and then one out in the northwest. Uh, look at it, deaths too for uh, Redcoats. TV very, very area. minimal, especially the Rossi, Rossi Roger, squad. Roger, Let them fucking put the finger Got a total of three deaths. Wow. Digging in, son. 
Russ Blitz, they're going to try and put a push to our east side on that flag. We definitely see some far, far east. Yeah, we've got zero contact on this northeast side, so I'm going to reinforce east. Russ, hold the northeast. So Rossi calling in on Commander Comms, yes, telling him, you know, another, guy in my squad, Deffy, for this for instance, sees him out to the east. You know, that just shows these guys are talking a lot more than you hear on stream. They're talking in local. They're talking in uh, squad comms. You know, you've got your riflemen saying, you know, I can see him moving out there and um, y y all sorts of action going on. So it's like, you know, I think it'd be a little too overwhelming if we even had the function to listen to all that squad comm. Because it would just be so there. much, be there, uh, flag to the north. so much talking going on. But it just shows you what it takes to be towards the top echelon and proficient in what you need to do with this game. If you're not communicating, then then tough. Oh yeah. I love that it comes in bursts. You know, these squads they talk about where these guys are going, where are you going, where am I going, and then it's kind of silent, and you can watch them as they get their squads organized into formations, and they start moving towards, you know, that next thing, and then there's a new update of orders that comes through, and they, you know, quiets up a little bit, and you can tell they're all talking to their, their individual squads, so it's kind of about um, talking about how we're going to win, and then talking to your guys, disseminating that information down the chain, that everybody knows what's going on, where everybody is. And the yeah, better you, you can, can do that, the better you can communicate there, and, you know, you're going to have a much better chance of doing well. Good, good game, boys. Good, come on, let's keep it up, keep it up. Very good game. I'm like to piggyback off of Rossi there. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can see Blitz are kicking out to the east, and you can see CML countering exactly what Redcoats are doing every time. So you see that AR up on top of Ammo Depot right now, playing into that strength of those, uh, those actual support roles. You know, AR, Grenadier, Lat, Crix is just dumping rounds. He doesn't even see anybody on there necessarily, but he's just dumping rounds into the south side of Hilltop. Just keeping their heads in, keeping them worried. And it looks like Blitz is getting ready to push south. CML holding the hill on the northwest side of, uh, of Hilltop. And also on the south side of it, just massing, waiting for those guys to push up. 45. Very good holds, very good plays on both sides. Yeah, CML being effective out to like 200 meters here. Shooting at bees, who's just at the foothills of ammo, and he's taking fire and getting shot. Very effective fire coming from CML in a very defensive position on this hill. Definitely. And you can see how they're holding that, that ridge line right there. CML just south. Hey Blitz, watch out. you may have movement coming down from your north, mate. They smoked up quite a lot here when we suppressed them. Yeah, we spotted them, mate. We're taking them. Cheers. 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 Extremely good <laughs> comms. Look, Rossi, I've just seen the northwest side's been wide up, and I'm going to move myself and a couple of guys out here, but just watch out, west side. Copy that, mate. Yeah, I'm just going to go back and get ammo crate up now, quickly. There you go, Russ. Russ realizing there's a window open there on the northwest side of Hilltop. I was wondering when they're going to see that. Boys, yeah. Keep your eyes north and they north see that opportunity there. That, that goes to show, you know, you got to have the situational awareness. You know, being aware of what's going on around you, trying to realize what's going on with the enemy and where your guys are at. Yeah. And what kind of options you have. Russ just realized that he's got a hole on the west northwest side of... Uh, a hilltop that CML left open, so he's going to try to push that right now. You can still see AR fire coming in from the top of ammo. Redcoats still lighting up that side. Interesting, though, to see the shift that CML has kind of extending past the walls of their objective now, sensing this Redcoats shift in these forests hey, to the southwest here. East, Blitz, uh, east of you. Yeah, yeah, the southeast, how they're sitting yeah, on the river side. Yep, yep, yep. It's just so you boys are aware, Scavy's been patrolling the north side for the minute. They believe there's a fobber and RP in between the cap and the main. 107 tickets. Yeah, copy that. I'm saying that, boys. 39. Get eyes on a fob north. Copy. Let's get, oh, yeah, I didn't even realize that. Scavy's way up north. Redcoats, one guy out there looking for an enemy fob. He think He's they close just to one. Him. Is he? Yep. Yeah, I think they spotted it. Very fast and furious round. Very intense. Blitz a squad now under heavy fire. Hickman up now. Definitely. Dipsis is down. This makes me want to play around right now. <laughs> I'm coming down, Dips. I'm coming down to you. Oh, you're right. Okay. Those girls are always good to play on, especially to, especially their layers as well. 
Get some, uh, get some good action on there. I was doing that with Desmo the other night. Pikmin, now. Lots of targets to choose from. Demo extending out, realizing the Redcoats are pushing down there to the southeast. And CML down, shifting with them. That's down on the, uh, awesome. Sword marker that was to, just to the south of the attack. You can tell CML's just like flexing in the same direction that, that Redcoats are doing, trying to block them as they're trying to move around. They're shifting their guys where Redcoats are pushing them hardest, which is which is awesome. It's great. Red's leaving a lot of people on ammo depot too. Up yeah. there, just ensuring that no one tries to move in. Lutz, you haven't you right over there, mate? No, we're getting ripped a new one here, mate. We're gonna see if the men can get us up. If not, we're gonna spawn at our rally and push south and hold the south flank. We're 30 tickets. 101. That big push from CML yeah, out into those woods, way, flushing uh, out red coats. Yeah, yeah, blitz coming on, so. saying we're giving up on no, that mate, on that eastern white. flank. We're gonna come out and push south. Right push south. The enemy's coming in hard from the HD. I see the guys that are hitting you, blitz. We're pinning them down now. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yep, blitz are getting wiped out there. His squad, CML, completely overwhelming them out there. They shifted Amy, exactly where they shift, where red coats tried to shift. Very good oh, no. counter. They're pulling back from the red smoke. 28. Demo's yeah, rotating now. That's about to get out east. They're rotating out towards ammo depot from the east. Ticket disparity doesn't seem to paint the Go accurate it, picture. I mean, most of those kills took place I'm on the ammunition there, depot. Bob. Past that, it's been extremely close match. Definitely. You can see CML moving in squads like that, too, as well. You see those five vans, five vans. Got contacts coming up the hill. North coming in from the east. Contact. Strong. Yeah. West, if they'd done this a little out. bit sooner. Don't, don't all run. Don't all run. We've cleared it. We've cleared it. Oh, yes, this would moment. probably do it if they played this plate a little bit sooner. Where CMLS is, co CMLS is coming from right now? It looks like Redcoats are going to try to shift to the north of the Ammo Depot and shift over to Hilltop. Oh, never mind. Well, Redcoats looks, looks like Redcoats are coming east. to meet it right now. Yep, Redcoats are going to counter it. You can see them shifting off of the Ammo Depot to get on the ridge line to stop them. Copy they know they're coming. This is a very good round. You can see the both teams just playing off of I've each other. I've on a little excursion here. Let me know if you need me. 100 tickets. Let's get, let's get fucking game one. Keep an eye out in the west. That uh, ninja squad with Blitzer. The they're going to try to work around a flank on the north. Copy, copy. Blitzer, or Scavy just found the enemy pop up. Yep. Rossi, tell him not to kill him. See the south right now? CML trying to get in. And Redcoat's moving exactly where. Plugging plug those holes behind them, knowing yep. that they're, they're coming. So Scavy on the Commander fob, we'll see, we'll see how Blitzer ends up uh, reacting to this move. Yep, well as CML. Calling it out. You can see Blitzer, Red Coast now shifting south. To the east of the Commander deep. comms, uh, squad one that's at Hilltop is just now going north to go meet that guy yep. that's uh, Scavy to try to prevent them from capping that fob. CML very aggressive, put, trying to push in the back of ammo right now. Definitely. Very good move by CML. They might have found that fob south, guys. And they are successful so far. Not too many casualties from what I can yep. see. Yep, CML getting in there. They're gonna pick CML getting this stuff in there, yep. Yep. Very good play by CML. Redcoats realized that they tried shifting guys down south, but it wasn't quite enough. CML just brute force down the south end. Very good, very good move. If they had Either attacked, the around them. If they had attacked the Redcoats literally a minute earlier, they would have had the full force of their team. Yeah, City on ammo. Up north. They've got another one south somewhere. They might still get in there. Yeah, Roger that. Let's quite push 18 tickets. If Scavy takes down this fob, that's going to be a big hit. Yeah. CML pushing hard. Yeah, I was going to say, CML is going to get Ammo Depot. They're shooting and running, tree to tree. A lot of hot cops coming. Russ is running for his life, and he goes down. Oh, and he goes down. Russ is screaming over cops, coming, saying they're coming in from cell. They are pushing in. Desire gets a reload, runs through the smoke. He's fresh. They finally get in. CML CMO back on ammo. This. As long as they hold that file up north. I mean, 91 tickets on this side. Go, go, go. No one's on the flag. No one's 16. on the flag. CMO realizes the scavy's up there. Nice and they, the ooh, CML sees, that, sees Blister Squad of the northwest. The CMO's gonna cap ammo depot here. Neutralize it at least. Boy, CML's gonna meet a lot of stuff at Hilltop coming from the northwest right now. Uh, they, they know it's there. They were just shooting rounds off at him, CML was. Watch me, we're pushing in from Rally on now. Alright, Scavy right, went down. Scavy went down. Scav Scavy's down, Blitz. Blitz are coming up. You can hear that lightning fast response. Literally, you said it, Dr. Big, and it was like Blitz had it right, you know, they had that information broadcasted to everybody immediately. These guys are just. Totally up to date with what's going on with the game.
Absolutely. That's and that's how they played every match we've ever have, had with them. It's such an Screw art, loose. you know. I mean, I, I know I can't even do that. These guys are so well versed at talking back and forth with each other, being able to light up comms with pertinent information and not, you know, you know, they keep that stuff clean. They keep the only important information on their comms. It's coming down. It's coming yep. down. All right, we're at Red coat killing the fight now. New side There you go. Maybe you can play by CML, but it's gonna be too late. Red coats are on that fob in the north. This is gonna be able. Yeah. The the hell game. of a game. It's gonna be right game. now. Yeah, Russ, we're gonna need smoke down south, mate. If you got a medic down, it can come. Funny, that fob is gonna be what does it. Yep. Forge. Sorry, we want to take this back. We don't want to give them the tickets for this count. Yeah, oh, Commander Com's on this side's calling it out, saying that's that's a wrap if uh, they lose that fob. So we're at seven tickets right now. Foregone conclusion, that fob's about to be over. We're coming, Russ. We're coming. We're coming. Yeah, they're going to count the flag. Wow. Oh, very, very oh, strong push well. from CML, though. Well, well, well played. Red coat. Well All right, we're going to take just a quick break here and get you guys right back in the action. We're going to get these guys set up for their second round here. And then that will do it for our uh, Saturday stream. We'll be giving away a live, uh, live stream key at the end. So if you want a copy of Squad or want to be entered in a chance to win one, uh, you can stick around for uh, the stream after the end of this next match. We're going to get these guys queued up and ready to go and get you guys back in the action as quick as we can. So stay with us. We'll see you soon.